So with Intel releasing its 10th generation processors a few weeks back um, and pre-ordering beginning early last week for both Z490 motherboards as well as the 10th gen chips, I wanted to take a look and see if it is actually the right time to upgrade your system to these 10th gen processors. Um, so taking a look quickly at uh, the 10th gen lineup. So here is Intel's product suite. So the big top of the line processor is of course the i9. And with this here going to the i9 10900K, we have 10 cores, 20 threads, um, base clock 3.7 gigahertz, turbo boost or well, thermal velocity boost to 5.3, turbo boost to 5.1. Uh, below the 10900K, we have the Core i7, 10700K, 3.8 gigahertz base clock. Uh, this thermal velocity boost doesn't apply to this chip, only the 10900K, um, and we have a turbo boost up to 5.1 gigahertz. So again, Intel, plenty of performance when it comes to core clocks, um, single core clock speed, perfect for gaming, but is it a big enough improvement from the 9900K to really warrant upgrading your processor as well as upgrading a motherboard to the new Z490 chipset? So the 9900K, similar core clock, um, you can get a KS that is out of the, out of the box, uh, 5.0 gigahertz on all cores. So it's really dependent on whether you think the extra two cores with the 10900K is worth the upgrade um, but then you also have Ryzen 3000. So if you're gonna be upgrading your processor and your motherboard anyways, why not go to something like Ryzen 3000 series? You might wanna go something more with like a Ryzen 9 3900X where you get 12 cores, 24 threads. So still beating out that 10 core uh, 20 thread, 10900K um, and similar boost clocks and base clock. So base clock 3.8 gigahertz um, and boost clock up to 4.6. I'm sure with some overclocking, you can get it up to that 5.0 gigahertz mark. And if you're going to something like a 10700K, which is now gonna be the eight core 16 thread processor in the Intel lineup, a 3700X at 290 is gonna be far and away cheaper than whatever the 10700K comes out. Most likely the 10900K will be a $500 MSRP and the 10700K will be like 450 around there. So you're gonna get a really good deal with AMD and you can get a B450, an X570, or one of the new B550 motherboards that will be compatible with future Ryzen 4000 products um, for pretty cheap as well. So most likely with the new Z490 chipset, those motherboards are gonna be at a premium, um, whereas something like a B450 or X570, you can get for around $150, a decent board, $200 for something a little bit better, like an Asus X570 e gaming motherboard that will be plenty of performance um, to overclock anything from a 3900X, 3950X, 3700X. So talking about the 3950X, that CPU is pretty much a behemoth. So it's 722, so it'd be $200 more than that 10900X, but you're getting six more cores. So you're getting 16 cores and 32 threads. So three fifths uh, additional cores and thread count. And again, base clock 3.5, boost clocks up to 4.7 plenty of performance there with the 3950X. So if you're gonna over, if you're gonna spend the money on a new motherboard, a new CPU with Intel 10th gen and Z490, you might wanna take a look at X570 or the new B550 and a product like the 3900X or the 3950X. And while we're on discussions with Z490, here is Asus's product release with Z490 motherboards. So a lot of the same Intel um, specs when it comes to the motherboards, but going down here is sort of what is to be expected with some of their higher end motherboards. So you have Z490 eGaming, the Maximus, the Maximus 12. So these are gonna be your high end motherboards, probably in the five to $700 price tag or something like a, a Z490 eGaming or F Gaming will run you probably around 250 to $200. And we can take a look on B&H for Z490, as they have gotten a lot of the pre-order releases. So an MSI motherboard 190 for a Z490 chipset. The Z490 eGaming is a $300 motherboard. Um, so 
pretty pricey if you're going to upgrade to a 10900K, one of these higher end Z490 motherboards, you're probably looking at around an $800 upgrade. And of course, if you have like a 9900K and a Z390 board, you might be able to get six, $700 for that. And then the upgrade really isn't looking that bad. But yet again, you just have to weigh those options between do you possibly upgrade to AMD with the current products that, or do you wait to see what AMD is coming out with and maybe one year later for the next Intel product release, which should be the 10 nanometer CPUs, um, which will hopefully have big improvements in IPC, um, big improvements in just pure core count, shrinking down the transistor size should allow you to put more cores on the silicon. So you should be able to have higher core count processors as well. So maybe a year down the line, you get a product from Intel that is similar core count to AMD. You might get 12 cores, 16 cores on sort of their high end Intel processors. And then yet again, you can wait for Intel in almost a year or two years or with AMD's Ryzen 4000 desktop CPUs coming to the market probably at the end of this year, you could most likely see a 20% IPC boost between Ryzen 4th gen and Ryzen 3rd gen. And probably at the similar core counts that you're seeing today with the 3900X and 3950X. So if we're expecting 20% boost in IPC where Ryzen is already beating Intel, then they're gonna be pretty much trouncing Intel when it comes to core count, core, core frequency will still be up in the air. You might be able to, of course, get higher core, fre core frequency with a product like Intel. If you're solely gaming on your system, Intel may still be the way to go. But if you're doing rendering, gaming, um, design, if you're doing a whole bunch of different things on your computer, you may want to go with AMD purely based on core count and the ability to just shove a huge amount of instructions at that CPU. And with Ryzen 4000 having even bigger boosts in performance over Ryzen 3000, you're gonna see huge performance increases over Intel when it comes to AMD. So there we have it. If it was up to me, I'm probably most likely not going to be upgrading to Z490. I'm probably waiting until AMD comes out with their 4000 series Ryzen chips later this year. Um, to possibly upgrade the 8700K and the Z390 motherboard that's currently in my system, um, purely based off the fact that AMD is trouncing Intel when it comes to IPC, core count, and thread count. It's just insane how much quicker those processors are at handling large data sets and huge workloads when it comes to rendering and things of that nature, while still being able to keep up with Intel in gaming. So, if I had to say now, probably don't pre-order Z490 and Intel 10th gen, hold off a little bit until Intel 11th gen comes out and or Ryzen 4000, depending on which side you're on, whether you wanna solely focus on gaming or possibly do some other stuff on your computer. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, any comments, leave those below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.